Hey, God bless you, Pastor Jeff. Day 33 of 40 devotionals, repentance devo devotionals, topics, sins that you and I can spend time with the Holy Spirit to remove. The Lord wants you and me to be pure, to be holy as he's holy. And so stretch, you might say, I don't see how I could do that. Well, it's a direction to go. You want to be directed towards Christ's purity, away from the world, away from the flesh, away from your old thinking, what the Lord calls strongholds. They are old ways of thinking that are not consistent with Christ. And the word of God is mighty in God for pulling these down. It tells us this in 2 Corinthians 10, verses 3 to 5. So today the issue is about apostasy, false teaching. And we know in the end times, apostasy is already upon us in the body of Christ. There's an incredible amount of wrong teaching going against the very word of God that's taking place in our pulpits all over the planet. You and I are to not participate in that. To the contrary, we're to be completely aligned only with the word of God. I'm going to read pretty long, but I'm going to read 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. This is the protection against apostasy, against any false teaching. You and I want to remove any temptation to be an apostate, to be a false teacher. This is what Paul wrote to Timothy. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, Preach the word, exclamation point. Preach the word. Didn't say add to your own stuff. He didn't say pick up something that's politically correct. He didn't say, oh, come on now, let's let everyone into the kingdom. It's okay if you have this issue about your gender or you have a same-sex issue or what. No, no, no. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince rebuke. Wow, that's a rare gift. We don't see that too often. You can rebuke in love, by the way. Got to be humble when and in love. Giving grace when, when you rebuke. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, They'll heap up for themselves teachers and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. That's apostasy. You and I need to remove any remnant, any temptation to be apostate. But you, and he's speaking to you and me today, be watchful in all things, endure afflictions. Yes, you just preach the word, you will be afflicted. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. I'll tell you, the best way to be able to fulfill it is find out your calling through repentance. In John 15, 16, the Lord says, You didn't call me, but I called you to go and bear much fruit. You have a calling from the Lord. You find it once you're in the kingdom. When you're in the kingdom, Ask him what your calling is. That way, when you find it and start walking in your unique calling, you will only stick to the word. You will not be politically correct. You will not waver. You will be a teacher of the truth. You will be an, an ambassador of Christ. You'll be a member of the royal priesthood who wishes to continue. Repentance is an everyday discipline, day after day, to cleanse and take on all the more each day the character of Christ. We are to be like him because he loves us so much. We are called to be priests, a royal priesthood. Wow, what an honor, what an honor. And yes, we have a ways to go, but every day he can heal us with the word of God. He can heal us with the word of God. In fact, I want to pick this up out of Ephesians 5. This is so good. This is just too good not to include in this video. 
<laughs> yes, I love verses 25 to 27. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. He's speaking to you and me as the church. That he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. That's repentance. That's cleaning up so that there's no apostasy. There's no false teaching. And verse 27, that he might present her to himself. I love this. He's going to present you and me to himself. A glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Hallelujah. That's the call. Remove apostasy, any temptation to be a false teacher. Find your calling. 